No classmates, no lessons. 13-year-old Charlie learns with a laptop in his front room and a tutor twice a week. He has autism and ADHD, and his experiences at school, first at mainstream, then a special provision, was so traumatic he had a complete mental breakdown. He was crying out for help. He was crying out for somebody to listen to him. And the reason that he used those methods of communication are due to his needs that should have been recognised years ago. So yes, he is um, unfortunately what you would say the image of a broken system. It took three years to get an education, health and care plan for Charlie. Despite this legal document setting out his needs, his family say teachers treated him as a naughty child. Other pupils bullied and attacked him. It made me feel like an outcast. It made me feel like an alien. When you're asking for help and no one's listening or helping, it just tears people apart. It's ripped me apart. It's ripped me. Today, the Education Secretary admitted the system is bureaucratic, adversarial, a postcode lottery, as he launched a consultation to overhaul it. The reality is the system is not working as it should. Parents should not need to fight the system. The system should be working and fighting for them. These proposed changes will help parents know exactly what their child is entitled to. So I want you to look very carefully. The plan includes more teachers and training, making local authorities more accountable, okay. and more places at specialist schools like the Rise in West London. In a GCSE maths lesson, pupils with autism who couldn't cope in mainstream are thriving. Much more helpful to be in mainstream school because it was so chaotic at my last school. Everyone's packed into class and here was, there's a lot more space. It's a lot more of a calm atmosphere in the class. Well, you get more support because the amount of TAs in the room and the less pupils in the room, so it's less distracting. Teachers and parents alike will welcome attempts to simplify the education, health and care plans pupils need to access support. If English was not your first language, the application process for an educational healthcare plan is almost impenetrable. Um, I think that, you know, neurodiverse parents themselves, you know, are going to perhaps struggle with, um, you know, therefore accessing the support. So we need to be making all of that more accessible. Um, I think parents that just have a lot of demand... Is, I think it's, it can become like a full-time job trying to support an SEN child. Lisa gave up her career to battle for Charlie's education. She hopes desperately change is afoot, that this isn't his future. But after years of funding cuts and failings, she fears the government's ambition won't be enough. Tessa Chapman, Five News.